Good morning, friends. If you are feeling burnt out, overwhelmed, not motivated, and you don't know where to start, welcome to this video because that is exactly the headspace I am in right now. And I decided to pick up the camera and document that because I've had a lot of questions from you all in the past asking, what do I do when I'm not feeling motivated? What do I do when I just feel scattered and I don't really know where to start? I'm having a hard time focusing. First things first, I realized I was starting to spiral because I had planned on filming a desk tour video today. It's really gloomy and rainy outside, so the lighting is just not what I would want it to be for that type of video. So I was like, okay, shoot, I can't film that today. That's gonna put me behind and I'm already feeling behind. And then I just found myself opening and closing different tabs on my computer and just going through that whole thing where I just don't know what to work on, even though I have a lot of things I need, I need to do. So I just threw myself a little two minute pity party and then I was like, all right, now we, we need to take action. We need to do something and make this day count because it is only 10 o'clock in the morning. I have the whole day ahead of me and I can make that a good day. And then I also thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the camera and just document how I'm doing this. There's just something about pushing myself to just show up as I am and create something and see what happens. And if you're feeling anything like I am today, then let's see what happens together. Cheers. Okay, when I feel a little bit like I'm in a slump, I can't find focus, it pretty much always helps me to walk on my treadmill at my desk because you know, you've heard people saying like, jump up and down, shake your arms out, get some of that pent up frustration, anxiety, get some of that energy out of your body and just release it. So that's what I'm gonna do. There is just something so powerful about this little walking pad. I get in the zone, especially if I'm having a hard time getting started. So if you don't have a standing desk and a walking pad, try doing some jumping jacks, just shaking it out taking a quick walk outside, like get, do something to change up your environment and make it a clean slate. We're resetting. I'm going to set my little timer and I'm going to try to get into a writing flow state for about 25 minutes and we'll see how I feel at the end of this timer and see what I get done. Wish me luck. That was great. I am sweating. I made such a dent in my podcast script. I'm feeling really good. It just took 25 minutes of me walking on this treadmill, like a stark difference from how I was feeling like half an hour ago. What really helps me if you're a fellow writer, creator, when I'm writing a script or a podcast or writing a newsletter is to write it and talk out loud as I'm writing it. I know not everybody can do this if you share an office with somebody, but I'm in like the back of the house and Andrew's in the front. I turned on an autumn jazz playlist. I actually asked you on Instagram yesterday what lo-fi or instrumental playlist you recommend on Spotify and you all came through. So um, I was listening to that. And then as I was typing, I was just talking out loud. For some reason that just helps me write so much faster and feel really in my element and in my groove. Highly recommend. My stomach is uh, growling a little bit, so I'm probably gonna take a lunch break soon, but I'm gonna set another 20 minute timer to get to a stopping point because I really feel like I'm in the flow and I don't wanna interrupt that. And then I'll take a lunch break. Okay. Lunchtime. So I typically put my Apple Watch on my 
ankle when I'm walking on my treadmill because I feel like it doesn't accurately track my steps because I'm like typing and my arms aren't like swinging by my sides. But my treadmill says I walked 5,900 steps and my watch says I only walked basically 4,000, oh, now it says 4,015 steps. I can't put this watch on my wrist because of this particular band that I have right now. So just a little tip, if any of you have a walking pad and an Apple watch, and for anyone who's ever commented asking why I wear my watch on my ankle, like I'm on house arrest, <laughs> that is why, because I want credit. lunch break and making some miso soup all because of you. Now I make it all the time. Ever since I started Fourth Wing, that's when I've been pretty much reading every single day. It's been so nice. There are some books that I'm like, I, I'm like, I cannot read this in public. Yeah, can you imagine someone just looking over your shoulder and was like, And Fourth Wing, Fifth Wing, is it Fifth Wing now? The next book? The next book is called Iron Flame. I'm gonna do a reading vlog, so stay tuned. And go back. What's today, Tuesday? I am sitting down because I have a meeting with a brand partner in like two minutes. So I already have like my video concepts in mind, um, but I have a quick meeting to go over creative for the next video. And my manager is joining that call. So after that meeting, then I'll probably switch gears from the podcasting script and work on my scripting for a short form video. Lunch was delicious. Catching up with my cousin was so fun. Glad I got a good walk in. Got some reading time outside. Today has really turned itself around. So I just finished up my one and only call that I had today. Now I can just get back into the zone, get back to my timer and I'm gonna finish writing my podcast episode, maybe even record it today. Now I'm ready to just finish out the rest of the day with a copy in hand. Let's hit pause and reset together. Here are my five quick tips to refresh your routine. Here are my five quick tips to refresh your routine. I was feeling really stuck this morning. I was feeling um, very scattered. Just taking one tiny step to get dressed, making that conscious decision to focus on one task, making that decision to get my body moving, release that anxious energy, that created a ripple effect on the rest of my day. And I truly don't know if I would have had this day had I not taken those first three steps. And now here we are. I've got a podcast, a vlog. I've created some stuff out of nothing today. And I hope that taking you through this journey is permission for you to also take the reins on your day and turn it around. Even if you woke up today not feeling great, not feeling motivated, that's all right. Acknowledge it, sit with it, but then create with it. I don't know why I'm still wearing my headphones. 
<laughs> Anyways, I really had fun diving into this with you today and just meet yourself where you're at, work with what you have and show up as you are. Today wasn't the best day, but it also was far from the worst day. And I'm really glad that I didn't let my earlier feelings derail the rest of my day. It is 5.30, I'm gonna give myself permission to sign off for the day, sign off from this vlog. I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk. The sun is actually out, it's not raining anymore. Love that for us. And then I'm gonna think about what I want for dinner. I kind of don't wanna cook, but I'm definitely gonna read my book. What if I became a booktuber? A bookstagrammer. Like in another life, I would have a bookstagram account where I just review books and my whole job is just like reading books and talking about them. This is this is not to discredit the immense amount of work that probably goes into running a book account or a book YouTube. Like if you're really passionate about reading and you're really passionate about books, then that's like the best of both worlds. You're really leaning into that niche and your job is to read books in that niche and tell people about it. Same with Korean drama review channels. Maybe I should just be a K-drama review channel. Anyways, I'm rethinking my life's decisions. I don't have to turn my hobby into a job. I can just enjoy reading books and that be that. Here I am working through my brain in real time. All right, friends, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Wherever you're watching this, thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Bye friends. Joyride the movie? Joyride, yeah. And then read our books.